Hi, I'm here today with Claire Cassidy. It's March 6, 2014. Claire, what have you been doing the last two days as regards donations for cancer drugs? I have been trying to track down information on patient assistance programs for all the major uh, pharmaceutical companies, including Roche, Novartis, um, Pfizer, Merck, GlaxoSmithKline, and a couple others, and I've been calling all of their patient assistance programs and trying to find, you know, just some basic data about the overall programs from them, things like what countries do they operate programs in, you know, what drugs do they give out through those programs, how many people do they reach through the programs, and um, also if they can provide it, you know, what the eligibility is for each country. And so far, I've hit a lot of brick walls. <laughs> They've you know, done a lot of routing me through to other numbers and, oh, maybe we don't have that info here, maybe you can get it there. And I've probably had, I think, three companies who actually even just like took down my name. Well, actually, they all took down my name, but <laughs> a couple of them took down my contact details as well as the questions and did at least say that they would, you know, pass them along and would get back to me within usually a span of either like two days or about a week. And, um, which, which three? Um, let's see, I think it was um, Merck was a pretty good one. I think it was GlaxoSmithKline and Roche, I believe, were the three who at least, you know, offered to try to look for the information and get back to me with, a, you know, a real concrete answer, or at least some sort of answer if they could provide it. Um, but so far, I haven't tracked down that information and trying to see if I can, you know, get through to them. I, you know, I had, I've had one company tell me that um, they would pass on the question, but that it was likely proprietary information. But I, you know, I'm not really sure what's super proprietary. I mean, I think they would want to get out the numbers of patients that they help through their programs. It seems like information that a company would want to advertise, um, you know, their, their level of charity and help. But so far, I've met a lot of brick walls in this endeavor. Have they uh, sent you to web pages from time to time? Yes, occasionally. They'll send me to, a couple of them just said, you know, their generic, you know, Merck.com or some sort of very large website. A couple of them have sent me to the specific patient assistance program websites, but all the information there is about U.S. programs only, and it usually is only for the people who would actually be enrolling in the patient assistance program, so it's about eligibility and applications, but doesn't give you any sort of statistics on the programs themselves. I thought I might have stumbled into somewhat of a lead. I, I came across um, uh, a nonprofit that does patient assistance uh, program help. They help people find and enroll ones. Um, I contacted them to see if they had data because they seem to you know have a lot of information on a broad range of companies programs, but um, they too were a dead end, unfortunately. Thank you. Do you, do you, do you, this, on this issue of donations, uh, you've been in some of the, you've been in two hearings recently where people discussed India and pharmaceutical drugs and generic drugs. Does this issue of donations come up in those hearings? Uh, it has come up in both hearings and it seems to be a major talking point for these companies. They, they cite these donation programs as kind of the cure-all that, you know, they might have these high-priced drugs in these companies, but it's okay because they have these donation programs. So, you know, if they can't afford them, they'll definitely be covered by this, you know, generous program. But uh, they don't seem to want to offer any information about the actual numbers of people they reach. Do you think the United States government should have more statistical information on how all these programs are performing? Definitely. If government officials want to accept that donation programs do solve all the problems, then they need to know the actual numbers of patients, you know, that need the drug and then are able to get access to it. They need to have that information available to them uh, in order to make accurate policy, you know, decisions and make decisions that they can actually sleep with at the end of the night.